Hi, good day, thank you Hi, for ordering the Meso Gregorias um, double bridal um, wreath, wreath speria. It's just too long. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for ordering this flower. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. I hope you will enjoy making this flower with me. I'm making this flower. Uh, it's from the um, suggestion album and actually I have been postponing this one this was supposed to be made in I believe I had it in in January, February but then every time something came up oh, I didn't have a lot of time to make it because it does it is pretty time consuming because I mean look at the flowers they are very small you were, they, you were doing a lot of a lot of them are required so you have to make more than and Depending on what you want to do, I'm just going to make one, but I really can recommend making two or three branches and yeah, keep them. They will be look perfect as foliage in your uh, bouquet or arrangement or just like this. Look, isn't this cute already? Anyways, let's start. I'm going to part one is about the preparing the templates and that's what I am going to show you and part two that's where we will be um, constructing or making you know a whole branch or stock so let's start first we'll start with the temp with the petals so we have one, two, right, three, four, there. I'll be using my cake decorating stylo. If you don't have this, you don't have to buy. Maybe you have embossing tool with different sizes, you know, and then you just have to look which one would um, go with the, um, the smallest template. So what you do is you place this embossing tile or yeah, it's just um it it's heart shape, right? So you place it at the top of the petal and just all you do is like scroll down, that's it. And then shape them this way up and go into the center. Start at the top of the petal, middle. That's it. Now let's put the small one. I'm gonna use my regular embossing tool. And I have a large one and a big one. I'm just a small one. I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna do the same. Shaping down. So I'm I'm it's basically lifting up the petals. Very simple. So I'm going from top to center. And that's it. I'm gonna turn around the petals. gonna use my small decorating stylo cake decorating stylo and I'm just gonna place it in the center and push and it will automatically lift up I gotta push harder and it lifts up the petal okay for this one I'm gonna do the same place it in the center push sometimes you have to make a circle movement for the petals to lift up like this And this a little less. I want this to be lifted up as well, but not as much as the um, previous ones. And this is going to be a bit more flatter because that's the, the bottom part. Anyways, um, when we attach them, it will be flat, but you have to wait until the glue is dry and then you can rearrange them again. Okay, so we have this tamen here. Um, I did it this way because if not, it will be just too small to cut perhaps and this is just easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 8, 2 or 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, you can do 7 or 8 up to you, cut it off, cutting there, I am using a 
40 centimeter wire which I will cut like a bit longer than my pinky let's see how long this is so this is about six and a half centimeter hold on <coughs> my throat 6.5 that's two point two and a half inch okay I'm gonna get my glue and the bamboo skewer You can also, you may also use prepared cotton wires if you want. If you have those, if not, you just, this is fine. I'm just gonna wrap this tamen, which can be a bit fiddly around. So what I'm, around the, the wire, I don't place it really on top, or else it will fall out. It's gonna be a bit fiddly, but nothing that we can't do. We just roll. It doesn't have to be perfect because, or really tight. Well, it has to be tight eventually. If you just roll it and then pinch it, it's gonna be tight already. There. Yeah. And with the wire, look, my wire stick out a bit pull out and you just pinch it so it's nice and tight it's gonna be a bit fiddly though definitely possible that's it and I'm gonna place glue underneath it attach the first we will be I'm so sorry for that I was actually really hoping that would be over, but it's not. Oh my goodness. Oh, if you pull too hard, this will come out. And so don't pull too hard, but you can easily place it in. Oh no. I hope you guys don't hear that. Okay. Um, and we're gonna attach the petals by petals in offset. So we're gonna layer them and not stack them on top of each other. There you go. Just one by one. Here, last one. Sometimes they move, but you can put them back in place. Flower also. Oh, neighbor, please stop. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to finish this, and then I'll I'll just wait until it's over. So it's flat, as you can see for now. But that's okay. You just let the glue dry. Place this. Um, I. Where is it? I don't have floral foam for now where I can rest them, so I've used this one. So, there's something I already have. And that's where I had, where I rested all of these flower petals. 
until I was done. done. And it's flat for now, but don't worry. We're just gonna let the glue dry and then we're gonna make it fluffy. Look at the difference. It's just easier to do when the glue is dry. So just make your flowers, prepare them, attach them. And then I think as soon as you've done the last one and everything, um, the first one is dry and you can make it look fluffy. But I'll show you how to do that later on. Okay, and for the leaves, I'm gonna get my finger nail art tool, which you can buy on Amazon. And for this leaf, I'm just gonna score a line from top to bottom through the center of the petal, and I'm just gonna create a fishbone shape. And there are tooth tooths at the side, and every two, I try to create a vein not straight kind of a bow see that and again this doesn't have to be perfect I fold it in half you don't want to spend much time on the leaves this time because this really takes a lot of time and um, I think it's okay if we don't I think my leaves are a bit too big, so I might make the leaves a bit smaller than yours. So if you're like, yeah, why are your leaves so big and mine is small, it's because I think that's better, okay? Um, because I still think they're a bit too big. Okay, so yours will be smaller, like half of the size of this. Um, okay. Okay, once you have made four, okay, we'll have to wait until the glue is dry. So. And by the way, I am using sketching paper, but um, trust me, you can make this with car suck as well. I'm just going to pause it, wait for the neighbor to be finished, and then I'll be right back. And hopefully in the meantime, my flower hopes will be dry as well. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. I'm also heating up my glue gun already. Oh my goodness. Already dripping all down, please. I hate glue gun. But we need it. So mine isn't dry and I actually do not want to wait any longer because I still have to film something. So when yours is dry, all you're going to do is use your hobby tweezer and lift up the petals one by one. Lift them up. Lift them up. Make it look fluffy. Separate the petals from each other. There you go. And the first layer is okay to kind of hug the stamen. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's fluffy. And create a volume. And then with the last petal, the third petal you just leave it like it is flat. And then the last petal try to fold it down, but sometimes petals are stuck to each other so well, then don't all we have to do is make it fluffy you see how fluffy it is now kind of fluffier than it was anyways it's so hard because this is Oh, sorry if I was on the screen. Sometimes it happens. Just make it fluffy. Okay. Now, when we've done that, we are going to get our... Um, 
normal tape. Huh. We're gonna need brown and I've used it. No clue where it is at the moment. But okay. There's another one. Just gonna get the brown. Just take a piece. Doesn't have to be big. And what I did is I took, as you can see, I have three, four, one, two, three, wait, let me see, it's four, I have three with three flowers, and I have four, three with four flowers. So this one's going to be four, and I'm just going to place them like this. Okay, the bundle of joy mini bouquet kind of and we are going to make them the same height as you can see my flowers aren't my wires aren't the same length see because well still have a heart and we're gonna leave three quarter what one two yeah three quarter of the wire half half let's do half Half of the wires we are going to leave it like this, and other half we are going to attach them together by using our floral tape. I'm gonna use brown because this is a branch. There we go, nice and tight. I'm going to use my, oh, how do you call this? Yeah, you see my flower? <laughs> this wasn't dry. That's okay. Use my bed nose plier and just separate them a bit. Place my right. You can work more, add more flowers if you want. Now, I'm just going to do a modest one. A lot of ambulance today. This is the second one in in less than five minutes. Three minutes. Five minutes. See that? Okay, so we've done that. Now we're gonna for four flowers we're gonna use four leaves. For three flowers we're gonna use three leaves. I'm just gonna apply glue gun at the bottom of a bit of glue gun there, place it. And I'm just going to start attaching one here. There. Be careful you don't burn yourself. That's one. And then attaching another one. Hmm. Hello. Hold on, please. Oh, that's too much. Another one, the opposite side. There we go. Oh, chips. So, press, press, press. Careful again, you don't burn yourself. And if it does come on you, just wait for it to dry before you pick it up, okay? Please be careful. So. Just a bit. Don't do too much. I'm just gonna feel from here. So gotta press it up there. Put there. And then the last one.
turning off my glue gun because I don't need it anymore. That's it. Just gonna let them dry again before we touch it. And once it's dry, you can gently hold it, okay, hold it here, but the bottom of the leaves, and push them back and separate them. This is gonna be too, you know, you know, gently fold them back a bit. Doesn't have to be too much. I like it to be more open. Once it's once you have folded them back, they will fall in place and just leave it the way they want to fall. And sometimes one doesn't want to. That's fine. will be different. Now I'm gonna get a wire, a whole wire. This is a thicker wire. It's also mentioned in the PDF instruction document. This is 1.2 mm. Put away my glue gun. Put away my tools to clean up a bit my desk so I have space. All I will need is my floral tape, scissor, and bent nose plier. I won't need the other the others anymore, I think. I yeah, I don't think so. <coughs> I'm just gonna use one wire, but if you have a long neck face can definitely extend your wire you know so this so the um, the bottom part uh, will disappear in the vase and you won't see it and then the flowers will still stick out the vase I wish I could make more maybe I will make another one and I can use it in a bouquet I'm gonna start attaching Covering the tip, the tip of the wire with brown floral tape. There we go. I'm just gonna use this one that we just have attached here, all the way to the top, like that. Attach it. I haven't done leaves yet but because they are not dry. I don't want to touch them. So that's one, and then. See the end of the the wire. And use your bent nose pliers. Place it underneath the leaves, and just bend it like that. And then where we the wire end, where we just attached one, is where we place another one. Attach it. You don't have to be in position yet. Just make sure they're nice and tight oh wait I did say I was going to do part one, part two, but apparently I forgot. So we're just gonna go on and uh, yeah, continue. It's gonna be a modest branch. And what I actually did, as you can see, is attach right to the center, one left, one right, left, right. And that's what we're going to do. And we can always reposition them later on. And this will look so, so pretty. I mean, they are a bit bigger maybe than the original. I'm sure they are, but... Uh, no, it has to be doable. So, you know, 
or else it's just going to be too hard. And because they're so, so, so small, we already had issue with this. With this talon, can you imagine? This talon even being smaller. So this is the smallest that I could do because of this talon. Or, yeah. So I'm just going to attach that. And if you have a, just a regular vase like mine, there you go. This should be, see, perfectly. sticking out but again if you have a longer one yeah it's just making more flowers and um, extending the um, this and you can do that by using another wire attaching it halfway somewhere or a bamboo skewer and I'm gonna do this for attaching them is just the way you attach this the bread the, the flowers is with floral tape. Oh it's big so it's hard to show you now. There we go, we have a very modest branch, but very very cute. And this is why I wanted to make the leaves a bit smaller. <clears throat> to make it even more denty. Uh, hold on, let me check my inspiration. I have <coughs> collected a lot of pictures from Google. And there was just this one branch that I wanted to copy. Wait, hold on. Where is it? That's not this one. See, normally a branch would have so many, so many flowers, but oof, I really didn't want to do that. I think this is fine, but hey, feel free to do so if you want. gonna just by midnight I want it to be bending the tip up and down so it actually looks like a branch see and not too straight your bridal spray wreath. Put up the leaves even more if you want. Open it up. Just detach them. Just be gentle. You can even separate the flower more if you want to to create a fuller look. But I really, really would advise at least making two branches for a bouquet. Um, yeah, I have to one day because I definitely want to use this one again. But right now I can't because I still have to make um, another flower. Film the tutorial for that. Which is also a um, thing. There. There you go, my friends. You have yourself a bridal spaya wreath. You could add one more here, actually. I want to do it modest. It's still cute. I will do the leaves a bit uh, smaller, half of this. But if you like what I have, well, then you know this was half, so you have to um, yeah, do it 100%. Or enlarge it. I will use half because this is too big. Or I can actually leave it like this, but if you think it's too big, you can make it smaller. Let's just do that. I'll just supply them like I have used them. And um, I'll, yeah, you have the option to to make it smaller. And sometimes the leaves, because of touching them too much, get detached. But then you just have to glue it on again. Okay? And let it dry and not... And it wasn't attached properly. That happens as well sometimes. 
So I'm just going to beautify it depending on which you want where you're placing it. Look, if you're placing it in the center and not against the wall, then I would recommend making sure that you have flour all over, right? If you're placing it against the wall, then make sure that they point out forward. So that's leave that up to you. So here you go. My take on the cradle with Speria. Isn't that cute? I love it. Thank you, Debbie, for um, submitting your suggestion. And yeah, I hope you like my take of this flower. Enjoy everyone. And if you're new, if you're not a member yet of the Miss Hogan Gore group, please consider joining us. You may share your creations there for the monthly freebie or just for fun. Uh, follow me on Instagram. If you're going to share it on Instagram, please make sure to tag me. I really would like to see your creations. If you don't have Facebook, um, here, YouTube, please follow me. Thank you. And um, yeah, you follow, you get updated of new tutorials. Uh, what else? Um, if you have ordered this on Etsy, please consider handing back to my Etsy store and leaving a review. I really would appreciate it very, very much. And by the way, if you're sharing this in um, other favorites group you are in, I mean, I can't blame you. They are, I mean, how beautiful is this? This is beautiful. If you're going to share, I don't want you to get in trouble. Uh, what you could do is, um, out of experience, I also got in trouble many, many times. What you can do is just share and then don't mention my name. It's just um, say you got it from Etsy and just name the file name. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Nothing else. Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. And hope you enjoy making this beauty. I mean, this will look beautiful with any kind of flower or bouquet. Like, I don't have a bouquet right now or any other flower here at the desk except for this one, which was from the small thread. I can't even remember. Look, even that one looks cute. See that? I might make a bouquet. I feel like making more bouquet with flowers already here, which we haven't done in a while because I didn't have flowers with me in Asia. So, well, we'll see. We'll see what we have left because I threw a lot away. Like, a lot because I was rearranging here and um unfortunately but i still have a lot left as well anyways thank you so much and um i will see you next time and hopefully in our facebook group or in the next video yeah ciao